Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Drake, piloting Teamer Delver. This is a tempo deck that aims to play cheap threats and protect it with efficient counter magic. Drake's opening hand contains a Dragon's Rage Channeler, Delver of Secrets, Days, Tropical Island, Snow-Covered Island, and two Wastelands. Next, we have Michael Mapson from the Dark Depths podcast, piloting Naya Depths. This is a deck that uses utility lands to navigate the game before closing it out with the Dark Depths combo. Michael's opening hand contains a Windswept Heath, Caracas, Savannah, Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes, Sylvan Safekeeper, Elvish Reclaimer, and a Sylvan Library. Without further ado, let's kick off this delectable disastrous Dazzling Deluge. Drake wins the nine-legged triathlon and gets to start us off. Drake plays a Tropical Island for turn. He casts Delver of Secrets. He passes. Michael draws for turn and plays a Savannah. He casts Elvish Reclaimer. He passes to Drake. During Drake's upkeep, Delver of Secrets triggers. He looks at the top card of his library and doesn't reveal. He draws and plays a Wasteland. He sacrifices Wasteland, destroying Michael's Savannah. He casts Mishra's Bauble. He sacrifices it, looking at the top card of Michael's library. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Drake draws through Mishra's Bauble. Michael draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He passes the turn. During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He reveals a lightning bolt and Delver transforms into Insectile Aberration. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes it and in his second main phase, Drake plays a snow-covered island. He ends his turn. Michael draws and plays a Caracas. He casts no spells and ships the turn to Drake. During Drake's upkeep, Michael cracks his windswept teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a savanna onto the battlefield. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, he plays a Wasteland. He gives the turn to Michael. Michael draws and plays his own Wasteland. He casts Sylvan Safekeeper. He ends his turn. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes the hit, and Drake passes. Michael draws and moves to combat. He attacks Drake with Sylvan Safekeeper. Drake takes it, and Michael ships the turn back to Drake. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, he plays another Wasteland. He passes the turn. At the end of Drake's turn, Michael activates Elvish Reclaimer. He sacrifices Wasteland and then fetches up a Flagstones of Trucare onto the battlefield tapped. Still in his end step, Drake activates Wasteland, destroying Michael's Savannah. Michael draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding Yava Maya, Cradle of Growth. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with Sylvan Safekeeper. He passes the turn. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake plays a Flooded Strand. He gives the turn to Michael. At the end of Drake's turn, Michael activates Elvish Reclaimer. He sacrifices Flagstones of Trocare. Flagstones triggers, and Michael fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield tapped. He then fetches up a Forest onto the battlefield tapped. The turn moves to Michael. Michael draws and casts Moloch, where X equals zero. Moloch enters and fights Delver. Both die, and Delver is exiled. He plays a Sejeri Step into play tapped. It triggers and gives Sylvan Safekeeper protection from blue until the end of turn. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with Sylvan Safekeeper. Drake takes it, and Michael passes. At the end of Michael's turn, Drake cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Michael. Michael takes three, and the turn moves to Drake. Drake draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Lightning Bolt. Michael takes three, dies, and Drake wins the game. 
Before game two, Michael moves to sideboard. He brings in two Pyroblasts, Red Elemental Blast, Choke, and Endurance. This helps fight Drake's counter magic and kill some of its threats. He takes out two Sylvan Library, two Minskin Boo, and a Sylvan Safekeeper. Drake also moves to sideboard. He brings in two Submerged to kill the inevitable Merit Lodge that will be created. He removes Lightning Bolt and Force of Negation. In this game, Michael's opening hand contains a Savannah, two Windswept Teeth, Thespian Stage, Green Sun Zenith, Mox Diamond, and his London Mulligan is a Windswept Teeth. In this game, Drake's opening hand contains a Volcanic Island, Dragon's Rage Channeler, Delver of Secrets, Lightning Bolt, two Force of Will, and his London Mulligan is a Tarmogoyf. And Michael gets to start us off. Michael plays a Windswept Teeth. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding a Savannah. He cracks Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts Green Sun Zenith, where X equals 1. He fetches up an Elvish Reclaimer onto the battlefield, shuffling Green Suns back into his library. He passes the turn. Drake draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Lightning Bolt, killing Elvish Reclaimer. He ships the turn. Michael draws and plays a Thespian Stage. He activates it, making it a copy of his forest. He gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and plays a Delver of Secrets. He ends the turn. At the end of Drake's turn, he reminds everyone to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to be notified of when we publish more. Michael draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He casts no spells and ships the turn. During Drake's upkeep, Delver of Secrets triggers. He looks at the top card and doesn't reveal. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Delver. In response, Michael cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Dryad Arbor onto the battlefield. He blocks Delver with Dryad Arbor. Both creatures die, and in his second main phase, Drake plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Delver of Secrets. He casts Dragon's Rage Channeler. He passes the turn to Michael. Michael draws and plays a Caracas. He casts Knight of the Reliquary. In response, Drake casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Knight. Dragon's Rage Channeler triggers and Drake surveils one, putting Volcanic Island into his graveyard. Force resolves, countering the Knight. Michael gives the turn to Drake. During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He looks at the top card of his library and doesn't reveal. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Delver and Dragon's Rage Channeler. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake casts another Channeler. He passes. Michael draws and casts Green Sun Zenith, where X equals 1. He fetches up an Elvish Reclaimer onto the battlefield and shuffles Green Suns back into his library. He plays a Sejeri Step. Step enters, giving Elvish Reclaimer protection from red. Michael ships the turn. During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He reveals a Brainstorm, transforming Delver into Insectile Aberration. He draws and casts Brainstorm. Both channelers trigger, Drake surveils one, putting Brainstorm into his graveyard. He surveils one again, putting Murktide Regent into his graveyard. Brainstorm resolves, and Drake draws three and puts two back on top. He casts Submerge for its alternate cost, targeting Elvish Reclaimer. Both channelers trigger, Drake surveils one, putting Scalding Tarn into his graveyard. He surveils one again, putting Unholy Heat into his graveyard. He moves to combat and attacks Michael with everything. Michael takes it, and Drake ends his turn. Michael draws and recasts Elvish Reclaimer. He gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Insectile Aberration. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake delves away some of his graveyard to cast Murktide Region. It enters with five plus one plus one counters, and Drake passes to Michael. Michael draws and activates Elvish Reclaimer. He sacrifices a forest and fetches up a Dark Depths onto the battlefield with ten ice counters on it. He plays a Wasteland for turn. He activates it, destroying Drake's Volcanic Island. He activates Thespian Stage, targeting Dark Depths. Stage becomes a copy of Depths, and Michael sacrifices the original. Dark Depths triggers, Michael sacrifices it, and creates a 2020 indestructible flying Barret Lodge. With a giant tentacle monster on his side, he gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws, takes no actions, and passes back to Michael. Michael draws and activates Elvish Reclaimer. He sacrifices Sejeri Step and fetches up another Sejeri Step onto the battlefield tapped. Step enters, giving Merit Lodge protection from blue. Michael moves to combat and attacks Drake with Merit Lodge. Drake cannot block, so he takes it all, dies, and Michael wins the game. In this game, Drake's opening hand contains a Scalding Tarn, Wasteland, two Delver of Secrets, Dragon's Rage Channeler, Lightning Bolt, and a Murktide Regent. In this game, Michael's opening hand contains a Forest, Flagstones of Trocare, Thespian Stage, Swords to Plowshares, Moloch, and two Knight of the Reliquary. And Drake gets to start us off. Drake plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Delver of Secrets. He passes. Michael draws and plays a Forest. He casts Elvish Reclaimer. He ships the turn. During Drake's upkeep, Delver of Secrets triggers. He looks at the top card of his library and doesn't reveal it. He draws and casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Elvish Reclaimer. Reclaimer dies and Drake moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Delver and then ends his turn. Michael draws and plays a Flagstones of Trocare. He casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Delver. Delver is exiled and Drake gains a life. Michael passes the turn to Drake. Drake draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Dragon's Rage Channeler. He casts Delver of Secrets. He gives the turn to Michael. Michael draws and plays a Thespian Stage. He casts Knight of the Reliquary. He ships the turn. 
During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He looks at the top card of his library and doesn't reveal. He draws and plays a Wasteland. He sacrifices it, destroying Michael's Thespian stage. He casts a Tarmogoyf. He passes. Michael draws and casts an Elvish Reclaimer. He ends his turn. During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He looks at the top card of his library and doesn't reveal. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Michael with Tarmogoyf. Michael takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a volcanic island onto the battlefield. He delves away some of his graveyard to help cast Merc Tide Region. It enters with a 1-1 counter. Drake ships the turn to Michael. At the end of Drake's turn, Michael casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Merc Tide Region. Merc Tide is exiled, and Drake gains 4. Still in his end step, Michael activates Knight of the Reliquary. He sacrifices a forest and fetches up a Yava Maya Cradle of Growth onto the battlefield. The turn moves to Michael. Michael draws and plays a Wasteland. He casts no spells and passes back to Drake. During Drake's upkeep, Delver triggers. He reveals a Brainstorm, transforming Delver into Insectile Aberration. He draws and casts Brainstorm. Chandler triggers, Drake surveils one, putting Brainstorm into his graveyard. Then Brainstorm resolves and he draws three and puts two back on top. He casts a Ponder. Chandler triggers, Drake surveils one, putting Murktide Region into his graveyard. He then looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles, and draws. He moves to combat and attacks Michael with Dragon's Rage Chandler and Insectile Aberration. In response, Michael activates Elvish Reclaimer, sacrificing Flagstones of Trucare. Flagstones triggers and Michael fetches up a Plateau onto the battlefield tapped. He then fetches up a Bajuka Bog onto the battlefield tapped. Bajuka Bog enters and exiles Drake's graveyard. Michael blocks Dragon's Rage Chandler with Knight of the Reliquary. Chandler dies and Michael takes three. With nothing else, Drake ends his turn. Michael draws and plays the Flagstones of Trocare. He passes. Drake draws, plays a Scalding Tarn, and passes. At the end of Drake's turn, Michael activates Elvish Reclaimer, sacrificing Flagstones. Flagstones triggers, and Michael fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield tapped. He then fetches up a Dark Depths onto the battlefield tapped with 10 Ice Counters. Still in his end step, Michael activates Knight of the Reliquary. He sacrifices Yava Maya and fetches up a Thespian Stage onto the battlefield untapped. He activates Thespian Stage, copying Dark Depths, sacrificing the original. Dark Depths triggers, Michael sacrifices it, and creates a Merit Lodge. The turn moves to Michael. Michael draws and activates Elvish Reclaimer. He sacrifices Bajuka Bog and fetches up a Sajeri Step onto the battlefield tapped. Step enters, giving Merit Lodge protection from blue. He moves the combat and attacks Drake with Merit Lodge. Drake takes the massive hit, and in his second main phase, Michael sacrifices his Wasteland, destroying Drake's Volcanic Island. He plays a Thespian Stage. He ships the turn. Drake draws and passes. Michael draws and plays a Windswept Heat. He activates Elvish Reclaimer, sacrificing Sajeri Step, and fetches up another Sajeri Step onto the battlefield tapped. Step enters, giving Merit Lodge protection from blue. Michael moves to combat and attacks Drake with Merit Lodge. Drake takes it, and Michael wins the match. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Congrats to Michael on his win. He danced around Drake's counterspells while keeping his board in check before winning with a massive Merit Lodge token. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Elvish Reclaimer. This card gives so much value. It ramps with flagstones, finds utility like Wasteland or Sajeri Step, and even finds finishers like Dark Depths. It's one of the best cards in lands decks, and it really pulls its weight. A big thanks to Michael Mapson for joining us in tonight's game. You can find him on the Dark Depths podcast. Every week, they discuss legacy and modern. Check it out on your favorite podcast aggregator. What did you think of this legacy match? What would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.